Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's France against Brazil. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. The starting 11 for Brazil. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And they kick off here. Toletti. That's useful play. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. A chance maybe from the wide position. Kenza Dali. Plenty of support here. And a throw in here for France. Crossing opportunity. Decent position. It has to be. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Now, options are plenty. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And the keeper showing tremendous command. And deciding to go short with this one. 
looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. And teammates to play it to. Well, the fans want her to take on the shot. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Favouring the short one. What a vital intervention. Well, that's how to keep the open. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, it's a great strike, isn't it? Just look at her technique here. She really does just wrap her foot round the ball. Goal. 2 0 now, and back underway. Tamires. Marta. Well, good use of the ball. Poor pass. Counter attacking, very much an option. Can they take advantage? And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And the short option preferred. The inside route looking promising. Still a chance. Well, a great save, and then hanging on to the ball. Well, you have to say the first save was a brilliant stop. Then she got a bit lucky when it came back to her, but great goalkeeping. Promising sequence, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, foul play, says the referee. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. And the ruling is offside here. Plenty of support here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Is it going to be? And there it is! She's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again, and she's just been caught on the ball. That's a complete lack of awareness. It's a poor bit of play, really. Goal. So 
So the action continues, and France really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Caroline. Marta. Now with Borges. And threading it forward. And she scored! It's gone in! And now she can run off and celebrate! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch-perfect. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Kenza Dali and she moves the ball with intent surely well it wasn't a productive cross Eugenie Le Sommer opportunity here well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Caroline. Tamires. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. It's a neat move. Textbook defending inside the box. The first half here comes to an end. And now they get the ball rolling. Decent position. It has to be. There. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first half. Will we see an improved effort from Brazil in the second? Gaioro and support available not quite the clearance they were hoping for well they've won possession back what can they do from here foul there free kick awarded Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Kadijatu Gianni. Toletti. 
And the pass not finding its target. It is a decent looking attack here. Catelen. Now with Borges. Really important piece of last ditch defending. And that'll be a Brazil ball. And they will make the change now. Into the advanced position. Luana. Shot attempted. And no way through. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Firing it towards goal! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time. Who's going to get on the end of it? It might still be problematic. Grasgeiro. And Majri. And they have possession again. Caroline. Getting forward. And still looking to get the shot away. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Sound piece of goalkeeping. And that puts them in position... Oh, big chance! They simply couldn't beat the first defender. Kenza Dali. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Now, options are plenty. It might be! A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Here we see it again. It all started with that superb 1-2. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. This game was finished as a contest a long time ago. De Almeida. Ten minutes left for play. Might be able to get in behind the defence. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. A 
Sabinha. On a pass that lacks quality. Khadija to Gianni. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. De Almeida. Now with Renard. Eugénie Le Sommer. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Now veering in field. And saved by the keeper. Short corner favoured. Is it going to be? Terrific block there. And the penalty has been given here. And this could finish it off. Coolly converted. And that completes her hat-trick. She's been unstoppable today. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way. And it makes for a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. Luana. Well, there it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Exquisite goal, absolute perfection. And there it is. She's only gone and made it a hat trick.